Good morning, everybody. It's day two of the Hormone Balance Detox, and I wanted to go over with you my morning intentions, this page that you got in your handouts, uh, in your packets, and show you how I filled mine out and sort of go over that and, and show you the value of doing this every day for yourself to check in and, and see what's really going on deep inside. So I woke up yesterday feeling a little bit groggy after waking up several times during the night, uh, but my body felt pretty good and I didn't experience any pain. So it was a good little check-in and check in every morning when you wake up, wiggle your toes, um, see what's happening in your body. My goals yesterday, number one, were to stick to my food plan, which included staying hydrated and packing a good lunch because I was going to be busy throughout the day and having some nuts and some cucumber slices with me for snacks in case I had some cravings that came up or I was feeling a little uneasy about the first day. My second goal was to move my body. So while I fixed dinner last night, I put some music on so I could dance a little bit. And when I was, did the dog walk yesterday, I did some power burst walking, which means walk really fast for 30 seconds and then walk at your normal pace for about a minute or two and then repeat that. And that helps burn some more calories, get some more uh, oxygen into your cells and get some more toxins out. So um, my third goal was to make sure that I did some self-care. And my self-care yesterday was to do 30 minutes in the sauna. And doing a sauna for 30 minutes can burn up to 600 calories. So that's a good way for your body to detox and, and get rid of some, some things it just doesn't need anymore. I'm grateful uh, yesterday for living on the Oregon coast where the air is clean and the landscape is beautiful. Aren't we so lucky to live here? My fun relaxation for yesterday was uh, continuing to read another chapter of a great book I'm into. It's called The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein. Wonderful read, so pick it up if you get a chance. My evening reflections allowed me to check in on my mood, my energy level, my digestion, and my cravings. Those are really good ways to say, all right, did I have that little slump during the afternoon where I, I really was feeling like I needed that coffee? or my sugar levels uh, were saying, hey, how about that little candy bar you got hidden in your desk? My uh, high quality nourishment though was to hydrate, which I did a really good job of, to get in those veggies and you saw my shake yesterday. I had um, lots of greens in there to start, start my lunch. Uh, I got some healthy fats in with some coconut and some good protein and I had my supplements yesterday. Uh, I appreciate myself yesterday for choosing to be healthy. Healthy is a choice. My choice that did not serve me so well yesterday was continued negative self-talk about not being good enough. And when you're really trying to do something healthy and maybe you slip up or you, you really would like to have something, you're really feeling like you're not good enough. So I want to help you get past some of those feelings and get to be that nice, healthy self that you can be. Um, I crowded in some more uh, water yesterday as I crowded out some of those sugar cravings. And I did my morning intentions, of course. I had some home-cooked food. I ate it mindfully. I got out in to get some fresh air and some physical activity and had some great meaningful connections with all of you at our meeting last night and I had some time for myself. So I could say at the end of the day that was pretty darn good. I hope your day was just as good. I want to remind you to breathe. I want to remind you to stay playful in the kitchen. And my loving thought before I went to bed last night was I am worth taking care of myself each day. Have a great day, everybody. See you tomorrow on day three.